Showers and storms continue to head towards the St. Louis area. Our friends to the west having a pretty bumpy and bright morning so far. Uh, looking pretty dark out there right now, but once that storm is near you, it is going to light up like a disco ball. You take a look at the first alert weather radar and you can see essentially there were some spot showers that developed ahead of the line and they're moving pretty much due north northeast. But the main line stretching just past Herman right now, that's what's really packing some really heavy downpours with this. And it is leading to the concerning that we could see some additional flash flooding this morning. We saw some on our roadways yesterday and it's definitely something I want you to be careful of. If you can avoid hopping on the road, I would. Notice this line right here stretching from Washington just south of Herman. This is moving towards the Sullivan area and will be on top of I-44 probably in about the next 30 minutes. We are seeing some penny-sized hail being indicated with this. Not severe at this point, but it is certainly a very strong line of thunderstorms. This stretches up north into Jersey County. Uh, Carrollton had a few spot showers and storms pushing through, but that main line remains just to the west stretching through Troy. And again, this will be moving into the St. Louis area within about the next 30 to 40 minutes. And that's where we have that flash flood watch. That's the dark green that you see behind the radar. That's because of the concern to see that flooding on roadways this morning. This is round one. We get a break around lunchtime. Round two is the afternoon and evening, primarily between about 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. And that's where we've got the chance to see even more severe weather, Nicole.